Three, two, one. Welcome to the 40th annual Mountain State Apple Harvest Festival Grand Feature Parade. This event is looked forward to by so many people in our community every year. Probably one of the highest attended events of the entire weekend for the festival. And we're just, we're really excited. So we're on the parade route. I believe that the parade has started, but it's not gotten to us yet because we're towards the end where the judging is and where we have a parade watch party. Um, and with me right now, we wanted to start off the show and start off the parade um, today by inter introducing a group of people who without them, um, we could couldn't have done everything that we did this year for our 40th annual festival. So we have with us BCT, who this year is our presenting sponsor. It's the first time in the history of the festival that we have had a presenting sponsor, and we're so thrilled to have them with us. So I want to introduce you to Alice Frazier, who is the CEO, uh, President and CEO of BCT Bank, and she's going to share with us a little bit about why BCT chose to become, actually sought out the festival and wanted to learn how could they be the presenting sponsor for the festival. Alice? Oh, thank you, Mary Beth. We've been very fortunate as a bank to um, have core values. You know, our fifth core value is community commitment. And the team here, as we were planning for the year, wanted to find a local organization that we could really express our sincere commitment sure. to the community. And as we began to explore it, the Mountain State Apple Harvest Festival was a really perfect fit. But I'd like to explain why. Yes, and please. Connect, connect yeah. the dots a little bit. Do that for, for us. So as 1930, I'm sorry, it, we had 38 farmers and orchardists began the bank in 1871. Wow. 148 years ago, right after the Civil War. And their purpose was to put a stabilizing force in the economy. And it was about a time of neighbors helping neighbors. Yeah. Put the community back together again. And the team here was very instrumental as identifying the Apple Harvest Festival as one of those community events. Yeah. And in researching it, the 40 years ago when Chuck Thornton began it, right. it was a time when rising gas prices, sure. the economy was falling, and the community needed something to bring it together. And when you think about those two together, this yeah. became a perfect fit for us. It is a perfect fit. I know as a board member for the Apple Harvest Festival, um, we were just, we were so excited to have their excitement and their interest in becoming a presenting sponsor. Now we've always had lots of community support and lots of sponsors of various events. But this year, as I said, this was a unique um, situation where two uh, groups, two entities with like-minded and very similar roots um, came together and now we have them as our, as our presenting sponsors. And what we love about this partnership is it wasn't just in financial resources, it was in human resources as well. So they have enlisted an army of BCT volunteers um, that represent their banks um, all over the community. and. Christy, Leslie, and Aaron, who are with uh, in executive management at BCT, are going to share with us a little bit about that volunteer team. Yes. So Leslie here heads up the Apple Trample. So do you want to talk about those numbers real quick? I will. So the Apple Trample this year, that's the kickoff right before the parade. We had over 510 people wow. registered uh -huh. this year, which is, I think, one of the highest numbers we've Great. ever had. Um, and it is named the Bob Barriner Apple Trample after our prior BCT president, Robert Bariner. Yes. Um, and I am really excited to say that again this year, Jack <laughs> Bariner came in first place. Wow, that's and awesome. his that's wife, awesome. Corinne Bariner, came in first place. Oh for my women. gosh, that's so, great. Um, yeah. And we did raise over, I believe we're somewhere, I don't have final numbers, but about $12,000. Oh, that's and that wonderful. money goes back to the Cancer Comfort Fund at WVU Medicine. So Excellent. it's really, really a great cause and our team participates a lot in that. Yes. And then. I'll hand it off to Christy to talk about our other volunteer activities. Great. Um, BCT is very thrilled to be a part of the Apple Harvest Festival. We, Our team is out and about. They are spread all over um, here in Martinsburg. They're down at the fairgrounds. Um, we had some individuals who were doing the judging with the pie contest, oh, yum. which I heard that was really delicious. I would have volunteered for that I one. <laughs> They had a great time yeah. with that. Um, Aaron and his guys, they did um, some went to the stag lunch, and then we did the... Um, Pomona brunch. So we've got individuals um, setting up very early this morning. We're hosting the court party for them. So I'll let Aaron talk a little bit about. 
Yeah, you also see us out at the fairgrounds a good bit. Good. Yeah, craft yeah. Brew Fest. We have people that are going to be out there pouring brews for everybody. Oh, that so sounds be great. good. <laughs> uh, taking money at the gates, and uh, uh -huh. we came out here early, got everything set up as well, just to, for a parade watch party, and as much as we can Excellent. do to support uh, the Apple Harvest Festival, and because uh, there are other roots that run deep in this this area. That's right. Well, what have the, what's what's been the temperature of the people? Like, were they excited to get involved in all of this? Probably overwhelmed, but maybe afterwards they'll be like, yes, this was a win. Yeah, we had a really easy time filling slots. Good. You know, we, we come from a very volunteer-minded uh, organization, and I think last year we were around 1,500 hours in volunteer wow. service as, as an organization. So it's, it's easy to get volunteers. Good. We, we want to be a part of our community uh, that we serve in. Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much for being here this morning before the, actually it's afternoon now, before we get to actually see the start of the parade, we just really wanted to thank you from the board of directors, from our community for stepping up and doing something that has never been done before for the 40 years of the festival and giving us a presenting sponsor. We look forward to a long relationship with you guys and just how it will grow over the years. And I can tell you that the Apple State or the Mountain State Apple Harvest Festival is made up of um, 20 board members, 20 plus, I think, uh, board members, all volunteer. There's no paid staff. We really rely on the, the um, community, the volunteers. It takes so many people and a lot of money to, to do this. So when we have someone like BCT Bank step up and, and in this fashion, it really helps us do take the festival to a whole new level. So thank you from all of us and enjoy the rest of the festival. Hi, this is Eric from Hagerstown Ford. I keep telling you that Hagerstown Ford has completely changed the car buying experience forever. And with a return policy easier than Walmart, Hagerstown Ford has a goal to deliver 350 cars and trucks per month. And when I say deliver, I mean deliver to you where you are, just like Amazon does. And if you don't want it, return it. No questions asked. The only way Hagerstown Ford can accomplish this extremely aggressive goal is to make the car buying process fast and easy. We simply refuse to play the dumb back and forth games that most dealerships want to play. There's absolutely no reason for you to waste your precious time at a car dealership. I assure you, there is no dealership from Winchester, Virginia to Washington, D.C. that can beat our price. There's no dealership that will allow you to return your new car if you don't want it. Hagerstown Ford absolutely has the best price and we'll bring the car to you. And if you don't want it, return it, period. No questions asked. There's no reason to buy anywhere else. Visit HagerstownFord.com to schedule your VIP experience and get your new ride delivered to you. Contact dealer for details. It's one of the toughest times you'll ever face when someone close to you passes away. It's a swirl of papers to sign and arrangements to be made, all while you're dealing with grief. At Brown Funeral Home, we encourage you to pre-plan. Pre-planning not only makes things easier for you, it protects you from rising costs. At Brown Funeral Home, our families are precious to us, and so are yours. Brown Funeral Home, in Martinsburg, Inwood, and Charlestown, Ranson. Making the decision to purchase your first or your next home is one of the biggest you'll ever make. You need local partners you can trust to make the process easy, quick, and affordable. Trust the experience and dependable professionals at CNB Bank. Our mortgage lenders and our decision makers are local and we have the advantage of on-site underwriters. With our nine locations in Berkeley Springs, Hedgesville, Martinsburg, Hancock, and new locations in Spring Mills and Hagerstown, we are right around the corner wherever you may be. We are CNB Bank. Welcome home. Welcome back to the 40th annual Mountain State Apple Harvest Festival Grand Feature Parade broadcast. We're so excited that you're with us today. Um, we're excited to have had the opportunity during the parade to interview a few people to learn more about things that take place throughout the festival weekend. One of those um, activities happens prior to the parade, Robbie, yep. and that is the, the Bob Bariner, um 5K Apple Trample, and it's a right. huge event that happens on the parade route. And so we're excited to have the volunteer coordinator for that event, Dana Dijarnet, who has joined us. Good Welcome. Morning. Good morning. Afternoon. Afternoon now. Ah. Yeah, so much going on today. Know, it's just yeah. all run together. So. Long tell, weekend. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about today's event, how it was, how many people you had. Um, so we had about 510 registered. We had about 485 finish, uh -huh. which is pretty good because that means some people maybe woke up today and didn't feel that they could do it. Sure. So, um, but out of that group, the 485 finished. And um, one thing I've noticed over the years is just more and more kids participating and oh, young wow. kids. Wow. And their times are some of the best times out there. So that's kind of exciting to see that we're really um, 
fostering a group of runners coming up now that the schools, uh, intermediate and, and uh, middle school, have running clubs and cross country programs. Right. And you can see that in these kind of community programs. That's too. impressive. Yeah, that that's is really awesome. cool. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about the winners this year. That's always the, the focus of this thing. Yep, well, <laughs> since we've named it after Bob Barriner, uh, a Barriner needs to win. But actually, for the last two or three years, I think it has been Jack Barriner and his wife, Corinne. Wow. Both win the men and, and women's category. That yep. is exciting. So for our um, viewers who may not know, the Apple Trample was renamed a few years ago. I believe it was in two, 2017. This is the third year. So third it's the year. third year um, that it has been known as the Bob Barriner 5K Apple Trample. Bob was a uh, president of BCT Bank, but also on the board of WV Medicine, and he was very involved in this event. You want to talk a little bit about that? Yes, he was a big supporter of the event. BCT has always been a big supporter of the Apple Trample, um, and I know that he would participate in it some years, but his son is, is a very good runner, so it's not just given to him because his name is Barriner. Sure. He actually deserves the uh, win. Right. Sure. Um, so he has participated in it long before it was called the Barriner 5K. Uh -huh. Wow. So I think that's what mean so much to the family sure the apple trample does so. just a That's way to great. keep his name alive and attach it to something that he was very much a part of in our community so sure. Yeah, and I, you know, I, I think about the 5K and what's interesting, we actually watch some of them walk by at the very end, there are walkers. Yep. And so a lot of people might be intimidated by a 5K and say, oh, I couldn't, I can't walk to the end of my driveway without you know, <laughs> breathing heavy. But I love that the Wellness Center, which you work with and at WV Medicine, they do a clinic. Would you tell us a little bit about that clinic? Yeah, we have a zero to 5K program and it's for people, um, when we do it in the fall, we do it and we time it so that it we finish right before the apple trample so people it's about eight weeks long yeah. and each week we have two different groups we have a running group and a walking group so the running group each week will add more running so it might be a minute of running and two minutes of walking and then each week they'll lengthen the time that they run and shorten the time that they walk wow. so getting them ready and then one of the last weeks we actually do the course so then they're familiar with wow. the whole course for the walkers we just kind of add um distance each week Great. to get them yeah. up to the course and we do the, also do the course with the walkers mm -hmm. um, and then we also give them homework assignments because of course just training one day a week yeah. is not going to get you here so we do give them a training plan to do like Oh, yeah. It's a kind of a four-day training plan to try to get other days in. That's fantastic. So I love that because even if you feel like today, as you're watching this parade show, um, that, that you there's no way you could do that. Right. I mean, this is such a great, if it's something you've always wanted to do, it's on your bucket list to run or walk a 5K. Um, keep your eyes and ears open this time next year. I think, when do you start that? We start like, the end of August. The end of August. Oh, so there's usually promotions around that. and you know, make it happen. And yeah. this is a great way to do it in a way that's healthy and that hopefully you'll maybe pick up a, a habit that will last beyond Apple Harvest Weekend. Sounds like something for folks like me trying to keep the dad bod uh, <laughs> yeah. at, at bay. bay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and how many volunteers does it take to, to put something like this on every year? Um, Probably about, we're talking 20 to 30 volunteers. Now, that's a great day that we need those volunteers. So we have a lot of employees from the hospital, especially who help us with the um, registration part of it the, at the beginning. And at the end, for the last several years, we've had Faith Christian Academy. And oh, wow. they have students. We get about 15 of them out there with a few that's parents. That's awesome. They are Fantastic. phenomenal. This year, they've been doing it for so many years that uh -huh. I actually didn't have to give much direction. I just wow. turned around, and they're putting things together well, and setting machine. things up. Yeah, yeah, and they're fantastic to be here, and we can count on them every Got to raise them up and pass the torch eventually. So yep. that's, well, that's awesome. Good. So just another shout-out to the volunteer team from Faith. Christian Academy for all of their hard work in making the Apple Trample a success. Yeah. Is there anything else you would like to share or any highlight that you have of the races um, over the years that you've been involved? That um, I just think the, the thing that I love to see is people of all ages, all shapes and sizes, all fitness levels yeah. being out there and able to do it. And the, you know, the cool thing is you're here part of a bigger event. Mm -hmm. So after that, after the race is over, you come out and watch the parade, you know, get involved in other mm -hmm. events. So. Do you find that people line up on the parade route early to watch the runners now? Yeah, so I haven't actually been able to participate in uh -huh. the race in a long time, but that was the one co kind of cool thing when you do the race. Uh -huh. Everybody is lined up for the parade. So this is probably one of the few races that you actually have a cheering section most of the way. Wow. <laughs> so. Oh, that's exciting. That's awesome. It's right on theme with everything that happens this weekend. It's a collective effort from so many different folks and... It's just great to see it all come together on such a special weekend. Mm -hmm. yep. 
Yeah, so it brings well, the whole community together and do a lot of different things. Yeah. It's nice to add some of the healthy things in there. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, that's what we were saying earlier. There's so much to do the Apple Harvest Festival weekend. It's not just a parade, but there's events and activities that are really appeal to everyone. And so thank you so much for telling us a little bit more about the Apple Trample. And um, we uh, will look forward to it again next year. Absolutely. Yeah. Maybe I'll throw my hat in the ring. I think you next year to 5K. <laughs> We're That's right. To it. Sure you're accountable you're now. <laughs> Everybody, yeah. keep me on it. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank All you. Right. The level of care that I got at WVU Medicine was top notch. If you're not progressing in healthcare, you're falling behind. It's really an integration, looking at a clinical care network, looking at the good people who can help push the envelope and raise the bar for delivering quality healthcare product. To have my life back is absolutely a blessing. I am beyond thankful for WVU Medicine. I absolutely 100% have my life back. It's one of the toughest times you'll ever face when someone close to you passes away. It's a swirl of papers to sign and arrangements to be made, all while you're dealing with grief. At Brown Funeral Home, we encourage you to pre-plan. Pre-planning not only makes things easier for you, it protects you from rising costs. At Brown Funeral Home, our families are precious to us, and so are yours. Brown Funeral Home, in Martinsburg, Inwood, and Charlestown, Ranson. Making the decision to purchase your first or your next home is one of the biggest you'll ever make. You need local partners you can trust to make the process easy, quick, and affordable. Trust the experience and dependable professionals at CNB Bank. Our mortgage lenders and our decision makers are local and we have the advantage of on-site underwriters. With our nine locations in Berkeley Springs, Hedgesville, Martinsburg, Hancock, and new locations in Spring Mills and Hagerstown, we are right around the corner wherever you may be. We are CNB Bank. Welcome home. With four new car dealerships and four used car dealerships in three states, Parsons is the largest used car and fastest growing new car dealer in the tri-state area. Take Parsons Ford with huge savings on hundreds of new Fords, financing from 0%, Parsons' goal of financing for all, and Parsons' famous above-market trade-in allowances that help make Parsons number one for used cars, too. See why so many won't buy anywhere but Parsons Ford in Martinsburg. We became number one by making you number one first. Parsons. At Anthony's Pizza Inwood location, nobody does it better. We make our own dough and we bake it fresh twice daily. That's freshly baked twice a day to make sure your pizza always tastes great. Take advantage of our Anthony's Pizza special offer. Get two large one-topping pizzas, just $17.99. And when you buy three 12-inch subs, the fourth one's on us. For the best in freshly made pizzas, subs, calzones, stromboli, lasagna, and more, it's got to be Anthony's Pizza, 372 Middleway Pike in Inwood. Call 229-7373 for delivery, anthonysmenu.com. Welcome to the 40th Annual Mountain State Apple Harvest Festival Grand Feature Parade. I'm Mary Beth Blair and this is my co-host Robbie Blair and we are so excited to bring you this year's uh, parade. We have an incredible uh, lineup for you. We can hear and see now the parade has arrived to the judging area and we are so excited. This is what we call our advanced division, Robbie. Yeah, and uh, we're so excited to be here. We're excited to be emceeing with you all today, and we're excited uh, for this theme in particular for the Ruby anniversary. Yeah. There's no place like home, so it'll be interesting to see how many people and how many floats incorporate that into their into their display. And. Um very appropriate. We have the city of Martinsburg leading and opening up the advanced division. Followed by some very cool 
antique cars and I just want to mention Robbie that these are a part of the Norwalk antique cars and Norwalk will be at the Apple State uh, or Mountain State Apple Harvest Festival um, down, uh, events down at the fairgrounds so you can actually oh, see yeah. their cars their car show if you come down to the um, fair, Berkeley County Fairgrounds after the parade so check out all these old cars aren't Absolutely. they amazing that's what's so great about the Mountain State Apple Harvest Festival it doesn't just uh, end here at the parade Make sure you head on over to the, the fairgrounds and enjoy some of the craft beer, some of the live music we got. Got a great day. Yeah, it's going to be exciting. So, um, Robbie, when you look at these cars that are coming down the road, do you um, do any of them like, can you, uh, I don't know, as a, as a young man, you know, as you're growing up, you had cars and you had things that you collected. Do any of them look familiar? Like anything represent a specific era or say anything to you? You know, I'm not a, uh, a car guy, but <laughs> it is nice to take a trip down memory lane and try to imagine yeah. what the parade has looked like over the years when yeah. some of these cars might not have been uh, too old and they weren't antiques. That's right. It's just nice to imagine what Martinsburg might have been like then. I know, and I, I just have so much respect uh, for people who this is their passion oh, because yeah. look at the detail of these cars and look at I look at the way they shine look at the way the condition that they are in and I love that they wave to us all hello guys even and got some bulldog uh, black and orange yeah, here there we go but I, I have so much respect for um, people who have a passion for their antique vehicles and and show them in car um, shows all over the place and it's a it's a great passion to have we're so glad they're always a part of the parade oh, yeah. and we love that they open it up for us so absolutely make sure you check out the Norwar Norwalk car show as a part of the Mountain State Apple Harvest Festival absolutely yeah check out this one coming down here Robbie now that brings me um, makes me think of Greece I can't help it but Greece <laughs> lightning anybody else is that before your time a little bit <laughs> But if you don't know Greece, what are you doing? Exactly. All right. Hey, wow. guys. And they just keep coming. Hi, guys. How are you? A common theme. I see a lot of American flags. Lots of patriotism here in the Eastern Panhandle. I see that, too. And you know what I love about the antique cars? Look at the color. Look at, you don't see a lot of this kind of color uh, in our vehicles today. You no, pretty you much see black, silver, white, you know. But I love the creativity of our older model cars. They look so good. And the horns. Yes. It wouldn't be complete without the horns. Exactly. Can we hear that again? Oh. <laughs> did we ever teach you that growing up that you do this sign when you go by cars on uh, the interstate? Of course we did. Yeah. <laughs> it didn't work just now. <laughs> yeah. So when we started off our broadcast, we said welcome to the 40th annual Mountain State Apple Harvest Festival. We're so excited that this we're celebrating 40 years and it's been an incredible weekend. It kicked off Thursday night at the Charlestown Races in Jefferson County because it's not just a festival of Berkeley right. County. It the incorporates, that's right, all of our, our counties in the um, Eastern Panhandle. The gala was amazing. Oh, it, was, it was great. It was a great kickoff. Uh, we saw a lot of past Queen Pomona's. Uh, Senator we, Joe Manchin Senator, made an appearance. Yep, he did. In fact, he was named the honored West Virginian right. for the 2019 festival. Check out that. Wow. So after the gala, then on Friday, things really picked up, Robbie. And it kicked off at the Holiday Inn with the Queen Pomona lunch. And at simultaneously, uh, yeah, at for the. For you, it kicked off at. Uh, that's the right, Holiday for the ladies. Inn. I was over at the warehouse at the celebrity brunch. And how was that? The oh, it was celebrity fantastic. brunch, speaking of. Absolutely fantastic. You know, we have two celebrities, a sports celebrity yep. and then uh, J.R. Martinez. And, yes. and wow, if you have not heard him speak and heard his, uh, his story, man, what a compelling story and it was. what a touching 
and also uh, hilarious yeah. at the same time. <laughs> yes, he is very funny. And you know, I got to hear him this morning. Um, so after those two brunches, let's, we'll keep in order here before we go on yeah. and talk about Jr. Um, and what an incredible uh, man he is. But so yesterday we had the two lunches going on simultaneously, yep. and then at one o'clock down at the youth fairgrounds was the apple pie baking contest. Were you in that? No, I wasn't. I did okay. not bake any pies you, this yeah. year. We actually, as a family, kicked off Apple Harvest yeah, Festival we Week Sunday. Had our, own tradition, that's true. Um, our daughter Lexi, my daughter Lexi, his sister Lexi, yes. she Thanks is on the court this year, and she uh, just she loves to bake apple pies. So we kicked off our festival week with a pie baking at our house, and that was good. But so they had the official pie baking contest of the Mountain State Apple Harvest Festival. Uh, at the fairgrounds at one o'clock. And How do you I'm volunteer to be a judge for that? I think I'm more fit to judge yeah. the apple pies than I am to, well, to uh, find that out. To I'm not them. sure how they get those judges, but um, so they had that. And then, I'm sorry, and then later in the day, the pomp and circumstance of the coronation of Queen Pomona the 40th. And we got to see that at Martinsburg High School last yes, we night. Did. And that was fabulous. As always, the cadets from WVU were there to escort um, the queen and her court. And we also got to see all of the former Queen Pomonas. I think they were missing one. So yeah. there were 20 people who returned home. And again, it just it's such a fitting um, theme that we've introduced this year. There's no place like home. So tell me a little bit more about that with Queen Pomona. There were only 20 of them, but we're celebrating the 40th oh, yeah. well, year. So how does that math add up? It, it doesn't, but all of them didn't come home, basically. I see. So we got half of them. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. That is very good. Actually, they're going to be in the parade later on. We're going to see a lot of the girls that are going to be uh, the former um, Queen Pomona's have j joined us, and we're going to see them riding through the parade. Right now, we're waiting on um, some more members, I think, of the advanced division. Uh, but before we do that, we're going to take a break and so we can thank some of our sponsors. These are more than just the sound of a safe place to go after school. These are the sounds of interest being ignited and of mentors making an impact. At Boys and Girls Clubs, we don't do just one thing. We do whatever it takes to meet the needs of every kid who comes through those doors. Because whatever it takes is what it takes to build great futures. Great futures start here. With four new car dealerships and four used car dealerships in three states, Parsons is the largest used car and fastest growing new car dealer in the tri-state area. Take Parsons Ford with huge savings on hundreds of new Fords, financing from 0%, Parsons' goal of financing for all, and Parsons' famous above-market trade-in allowances that help make Parsons number one for used cars, too. See why so many won't buy anywhere but Parsons Ford in Martinsburg. We became number one by making you number one first. Parsons. Home Helpers of the Eastern Panhandle, making life easier for you, your family, and especially your loved one who needs care. We offer Direct Link's exclusive line of medical alert systems, monitored 24-7 by CSAA 5 Diamond Certified Care Center, with help at the touch of a button, free installation and no long-term contracts. Call 304-433-8000 or visit homehelpershomecare.com slash panhandle, or stop by and see them. They're located on Edwin Miller Boulevard in Martinsburg. Each office independently owned and operated. You care about your car, so you take it to the best mechanic. You love your dog, so you take it to a vet you trust. So why go with just anyone when it comes to your insurance? With a local Allstate agent, you get expert advice you can trust and the best coverage for you. And because they live in your community, you can always count on them to be there when you need them the most. Call Allstate agent Gary Kelly today at 304-263-4596. Subject to terms, conditions, and availability. Is your dog driving you nuts? Does he have behavioral issues? Is she not listening? It doesn't have to stay that way forever. Hi, I'm Julie. And I'm Josh. We own and operate Julie's Canine Academy, a family dog training business. You are not alone, and there is hope for you and your dog. With the right training and right approach, we can help with any problem. We provide total off-leash training on our six acres of dog paradise in Falling Waters. Visit julieskanineacademy.com. That's Julie's K with the number 9, academy.com. Any dog, any breed, any problem. If you're not progressing in healthcare, you're falling behind. W Medicine has planted itself here, and they're the first university that I've found who wants to take ownership of this population. 
of Western Maryland, Southern Pennsylvania, Eastern Ohio, and the good people of West Virginia. And it's, it's really refreshing to see. I was able to do things uh, that the patients were going away for, which is good for the patients and it's good for us because we have more resources. It certainly has helped take us to another level. Welcome back to the 40th annual Mountain State Apple Harvest Festival Parade. We are just getting underway. We've got our Gold Wing Road Riders Association now. Uh, Followed or led in by some scary folks. I think they're yeah, left over from the Isaac I Walton think League. So, from the Isaac Walton League. That's right. So we got some motorcyclist yeah, those, kicking things off. If I were ever to ride a motorcycle, that's the that, kind of motorcycle yes. that looks pretty cozy. Thank you guys. And right behind them, Robbie, we've got the Beddington Fire, um, Volunteer Fire Department. We've got... It's always good to see yeah. the service people show out. There's the Berkeley County Emergency Medical Services. Woo. Check and the Westfall Hose Company number five with their amazing, amazing throwback fire truck. I always love seeing love that. Love the throwback. Yes, absolutely. Call me old fashioned, but Martinsburg I love the Martinsburg Fire Department. You don't have a parade unless you hear the all the fire engines, right? That's right. I remember as a kid always covering my ears, but I think now I'm probably even more cranky. I think there's a combination. You either have the kids that are covering their ears or they're, wait, they're wanting more, right? And exactly. they're like waiting for more honks of the horn. Absolutely. We're certainly blessed. Washington County, Maryland has joined us and it, it takes, it's a, it's a team effort. Sometimes there's crisis that happen in our community and we call on our neighboring counties to be a part of it. So Absolutely. it's great to have them out Boca Raton, all the way from Florida. How about that? Wow, thank you for joining us. Not bad. All right, well, I don't, uh, the, the hill is looking empty, Robbie, but I'm sure that um, the rest are on their way. You know, yeah. sometimes they stop and wave to the folks along the way. Um, and so, yeah, it's exciting. There's so many, I think there's like 180 plus, maybe, um, entries in today's parade wow. so we have a lot to see we're going to see of, of course we're going to see bands oh, yeah. we're going to always see marching bands the area students um we're going to see our grand marshal our sports celebrity um we're looking forward to seeing queen pomona oh yeah and her court i have to be honest i'm a little disappointed i haven't had any candy thrown at me yet well you know what they outlawed that did they really? So I'm sorry that that childhood memory that wow. you enjoyed so much is now not a part of the, of the parade anymore. Kids have it rough so, these days. Yeah, <laughs> no candy from the floats My because goodness. I guess people get injured. Can I, you imagine? Did you ever I get guess. injured growing up? No. <laughs> no, I did not. Uh, thankfully, I'm here. I'm in one piece, and okay. candy never never held me back. Well, that's good. Well, so there is so much. We have three divisions um, and they're all full and we're looking forward to introducing each, maybe telling a little bit about them. Um, and just, we're so excited that we can share this parade with people in the community who might not be able to come out and sit on the sidewalks. They might not be able to, to drive here. And um, so this is great that we're going to bring it back into the homes of people in the community through TV 10, which is um, TV 10 is on Comcast. That's right. And also the WRNR YouTube. Um, they can look at WRNR radio. YouTube. Did I get all that's that? That's right. That's right. As a millennial, you I know. Did a, you did a I struggle job. with that. I yeah. struggle with that. Okay. I can handle the TV 10 part, but you have right. to, you know, chime in on the YouTube part. Hey, it's all right. So yes. Yeah, so you'll be able to see this over and over, actually, if you'd like. That's right. And maybe you're not uh, somebody who couldn't make it out, but you're somebody who's here, and you just want to relive the memory. That you're going to have that yeah. opportunity. So we're going to take a break now and we're going to um, wait for the next division to arrive and we look forward to joining you again after we thank our sponsors. Hi, this is Eric from Hagerstown Ford. 
I keep telling you that Hagerstown Ford has completely changed the car buying experience forever. And with a return policy easier than Walmart, Hagerstown Ford has a goal to deliver 350 cars and trucks per month. And when I say deliver, I mean deliver to you where you are, just like Amazon does. And if you don't want it, return it. No questions asked. The only way Hagerstown Ford can accomplish this extremely aggressive goal is to make the car buying process fast and easy. We simply refuse to play the dumb back and forth games that most dealerships want to play. There's absolutely no reason for you to waste your precious time at a car dealership. I assure you, there is no dealership from Winchester, Virginia to Washington, D.C. that can beat our price. There's no dealership that will allow you to return your new car if you don't want it. Hagerstown Ford absolutely has the best price, and we'll bring the car to you. And if you don't want it, return it, period. No questions asked. There's no reason to buy anywhere else. Visit HagerstownFord.com to schedule your VIP experience and get your new ride delivered to you. Contact dealer for details. Let's talk trash, because when it comes to trash, you have options. Panhandle Dumpsters is a local family-owned garbage hauling company serving both residential and commercial customers with weekly trash pickup, dumpster service, yard waste pickup, and ball pickups, too. Panhandle Dumpsters will give you a free trash can and provide curbside service for just $23 a month. Panhandle Dumpsters features a fleet of quieter, eco-friendly garbage trucks, thereby reducing the noise usually associated with pickup. Switch now and save up to 30%. Call 833-DUMP-STR, panhandledumpsters.com. Shirts. Sheets. Hand towels. Bath towels. Gym wear. Underwear. I don't care. Or whatever wear. You can't skip laundry, but now you can skip adding detergent. Fill once and wash up to 40 loads. Select Whirlpool washers with Load & Go Dispenser. Another way we're shaping the future of care. As a mom, when I'm making dinner for my family, I want the best and healthiest food for them. That's why I get my meats from D&D Meats. Their meats are fresh, locally sourced, and hormone-free, chemical-free, and antibiotic-free. D&D Meats is also family-owned, so I know when I go in with a special request for my large family events that I'm going to get treated just like family. D&D Meats, located across from Musselman High School at 8488 Winchester Avenue, Inwood. What are you feeding your family tonight? Welcome back to the 40th annual Mountain State Apple Harvest Festival Grand Feature Parade. We're getting Division One under the way. And before we um, take a look at some of the first appearances, well, actually, you can see them coming down the hill. I just want to give a shout out, Robbie, to the Mid-Atlantic Judges. Yeah. So they're here, and this they've been doing this for probably 15 years. Wow. And they travel from all over the Mid-Atlantic. Um, they go to various parades. Wow. And they're judging today on things like the difficulty of maybe the presentation or the the, the music that's selected by a band or the and the execution, the creativity. Um, and uh, so just the whole package, basically. But we just wanted to give a shout out to those judges. Thanks for being here. Yeah. And um, to let you know that actually the judges come from outside the community. It's that's not right. a local group. So they're is no favoritism no favoritism at the mountain state so apple harvest right. festival so that's neat they actually win a trophy and a prize so we're excited for those and we're very honored to have kicking off this first division a very special unit thank you for your service thank you Just take a moment and honor this. Those who have fallen. All our tears have reached the sea. Part of you will live in me. Way down deep inside my heart. I hope that we never get used to that. No, and um kind of it gets me a little bit choked up actually thinking yep. about that but so grateful for those who give their lives 
especially here in West Virginia, which we've heard a lot this weekend with our, our guest being yes. who he is and being ever, uh, a veteran of the Army, but yes. West Virginia has a special special connection to the armed forces being the uh, state that per capita has the most veterans and uh, yeah. something that's special yes. to West Virginians and everybody here in the Mountain State. And it also just having the West Virginia Air National Guard here as well that yep. does so much to, to help and support and serve our national security so absolutely means a lot yes it does and here we see coming down the hill finally we we wait no longer welcome the very first division of our parade today we have the city of martinsburg and their color guard robbie oh wow yeah they're the city police honor guard and it looks Leading right behind looks like right behind them we have some uh some bulldog band going on i see them coming um you know, I can't let this moment it pass it. I have to get it out. I was a member of the Martinsburg High School Bulldog Band for four years, and I, I bet they wouldn't guess what instrument I played. Not the flute, not the clarinet. I was a trumpet player, Robbie. Yes, you were. Four years. I had a blast. I love my memories with the Bulldog Band. So they're coming into their home stretch here That's by right. Martinsburg Let's listen High in. School. Yeah, let's listen. As much as the Bulldogs score touchdowns on Friday nights, I'm sure they're tired of playing their fight song. Let's hear what they have for us. rendition of All-Star by Smash Mouth for all the Shrek fans out there. It's amazing the vehicles uh, that it takes to tr transport vans these days. So yeah, can't we didn't be, have all this back in my can't day. Can't be lost on us, no. uh, on all the people that, that help the band and yes. help get them to all the games. Band parents are the Committed. Best. They are. Yeah. yeah. You were a band parent as well. I was a band parent, but not for Martinsburg High School. Our um, second son, Brady, was a member of the Hedgesville High School marching band. So. Uh, uh. <laughs> I think I almost saw some candy come flying. <laughs> and it's Nip tough. that one in the hey, bug. And look who's on the hill there, Robbie. We've got the MHS Bulldog cheerleaders coming down the hill. Do you want to get this out as well? Okay, so I have to get this out as well. I cheered for Martinsburg High School for two years as well. It was so much fun. See, back in my day, you could do it all. You could back cheer, you day. could be in the band, and honestly, Robbie, I also played on the basketball team at Martinsburg, so I was very well-rounded, very Jack, busy. Jack of all trades? It was awesome. I couldn't decide what I liked. That's probably what it was. Well. But I love cheerleading. I'm. That's just, I love cheerleading. They're awesome. That's so much work that goes into that. I could never be a cheerleader today, honestly, because it is like competition. After competition. Steep, and they are athletes. I am telling you the way that they flip and and pyramid and it's amazing, the routines. So it looks like they're right in theme with October being Breast Cancer Awareness Month. That's right. And they've got their shirts on and their pink pom-poms. I love that. Do you care to join them? You that, know, the, well, the I would kind of like to, no, but, you know. Tinsburg. Rah. There we go. Okay. Hi, guys. How are you? Right behind them, it looks like we have the Martinsburg High School dance team. That's Velocity. That's Velocity. 
So I love this. This is another new thing since I was in high school all those many decades right. ago. So you they, weren't a part of the Velocity I, team? I cannot say okay. I, was, I was not a part of the dance team because they didn't have them back then. But I Heard love that they've folks. added this to our schools and another way that young um, people can get involved in. And this is a sport. Dance is a sport. I can, I can attest to that having a daughter who danced 13 years. They are amazing. Let's hear it for the Velocity dance team. The dance team is followed by, I think you should Oh announce. my goodness, here comes Susan Snowden. There we are. Our president of the Mountain State Apple Harvest Festival. Susan is quite a legend because she is not only the president this year, but she has been a part of the festival for 40 years, and we're so honored that she is our president this year. Thank you for your vision, Susan. Come back and talk oh, to captain, us. Oh, captain, my captain. Okay, thank you. And hey, who, what's a parade without the Chick-fil-A cow? There we go. Eat I more mean, chicken. It would be really nice if Chick-fil-A brought the um, MC something. You know, Ruby, oh, we on. could take some nuggets over here. You can't throw candy, but you can definitely throw oh nuggets. Oh my gosh, we ask and we shall receive. Ruby, thank wow. you. Thank you, Chick-fil-A. It's their pleasure. Here we have Little Miss Chick-fil-A Princess Cow. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you, Ruby. I wanted to hear her say my pleasure again. Did you ever go through the drive-thru and say that multiple times? Okay, never mind. Because here we have our Grand Marshal of the 40th Annual Mountain State Apple Harvest Festival, none other than J.R. Martinez. Welcome. We are so honored to have you here in our community. Thank you for the amazing job you did this morning, inspiring us, encouraging us. I look forward to talking to you Later. soon. That's Later. right. All right. Former Dancing with the Stars champion. Mirror ball champion, Robbie. Oh. Get it right. If you're Dancing with the Stars, he is a mirror ball. You got to get all the details. Okay, anyways, on to the parade. Here we have the cadets who are escorting our queen and her court, WVU ROTC cadets. Thank you guys for being here and escorting our queen and her court and doing such an amazing job. And there they wow. are, Robbie. This year's 2019 Mountain State Apple Harvest Festival, Queen and her court. And I'm just going to say all their names as they go by. You aren't going to know who all they are, but I just want to give a shout out to our 40th Queen, Michaela Ann Dotson, and her court, Princess Lindsay Hall, Megan Tiford, Amelia Jenkins, Haley Rudy, Emma Schwartzmiller, Olivia Mills, um, Lexi Blair, I see you. Lainey Musgroves, Caitlin Silkworth, Morgan Smith, Megan Tropman, Morgan Sherwood, Kennedy Bennett. Oh, actually, she's a junior maiden. And so now we're getting into the minor court. Kennedy Bennett, junior maiden, Kira Foltz. Let's see, who else do we have? I'm looking up. Oh, and there's Queen Pomona there and is. her maids, Morgan A. Mor I, I'm getting ahead of myself. What a Morgan float. Hi, and Maddie. It's good to see you guys. What a fantastic float. I was trying to get through. That's a lot of people to get through, yeah, Robbie. Was, uh, I was like really trying hard, and I ran out of breath. So I'm going to go back later, nice and I'm going to give props to all the minor yeah. court, because I kind of got caught off there. But let's move on oh, to the rest of the parade. Here we hear the uh, All-Star by Smash Mouth again. Hey, guys. Shrek. Oh, my gosh. One of my favorites. I have to come see you guys. Thank you for being fantastic. here. Fantastic. The Apollo Youth Theater, that is amazing. They do a great job. And next we have the 2019 Miss Apple Valley's Outstanding Teen, Abigail McBee. Now, Abigail, a little history on her. She's been a part of the festival for over 14 years. Not only has she been a part of the court, the minor court, a jester, her parents have been run the, helped run the parade. She's done everything for, for it. So we're excited to acknowledge that today. 
Thank you, Abigail. And here's a special one coming in. And she has a princess in. with her, too. That's true. Oh, wait. Here we go. The Next. In, mom bragged on uh, being a bulldog. Well, I'm going to brag on being an eagle here. We got the Hedgesville High School cheerleaders and that's varsity and JV here. Awesome. And we're singing Country Roads here. Oh, you cannot ever go wrong with Country Roads, right? It's fantastic. Good job, girls. Country Roads. Thank you. Unfortunately, okay. that'll be the first time we, and only time we sing Country Roads today. And I see one of our uh, Berkeley County um, schools, Queens, out there, and that looks like we have the Little Miss. So that's Ashlyn Weatherholtz. We're happy to have you with us. Congratulations on a great year. I know you're getting ready to crown a successor. So thank you for your service. Floodwaters can spread E. coli bacteria. Here's Bill Kearns from the Berkeley County Health Department about what to do if your well is tested positive. If it's just a one-time contamination, you can superchlorinate your well, which we have instructions at the health department they could call and talk to us. You're providing uh, an excessive amount of bleach down the well. Then you do a runoff to get that out of the system to get the bleach through your lines, get any contamination out of there. You do a runoff of so long, and then you can have it tested again. The Berkeley County Health Department, 122 Waverly Court in Martinsburg. Call 304-263-5131. If you hang the WV Medicine sign, it certainly has helped take us to another level. He literally, literally saved my life. It's just mind-boggling to me that he was able to do what he did. We're able to affect much more of a difference for our patients with these resources. Having people treated locally uh, enhances their overall care. They treat you great and they're down to earth in the West Virginia way that all West Virginians treat each other. At Anthony's Pizza Inwood location, nobody does it better. We make our own dough and we bake it fresh twice daily. That's freshly baked twice a day to make sure your pizza always tastes great. Take advantage of our Anthony's Pizza special offer. Get two large one-topping pizzas, just $17.99. And when you buy three 12-inch subs, the fourth one's on us. For the best in freshly made pizzas, subs, calzones, stromboli, lasagna, and more, it's got to be Anthony's Pizza, 372 Middleway Pike in Inwood. Call 229-7373 for delivery, anthonysmenu.com. Making the decision to purchase your first or your next home is one of the biggest you'll ever make. You need local partners you can trust to make the process easy, quick, and affordable. Trust the experience and dependable professionals at CNB Bank. Our mortgage lenders and our decision makers are local and we have the advantage of on-site underwriters. With our nine locations in Berkeley Springs, Hedgesville, Martinsburg, Hancock, and new locations in Spring Mills and Hagerstown, we are right around the corner wherever you may be. We are CNB Bank. Welcome home. Hi, this is Eric from Hagerstown Ford. I keep telling you that Hagerstown Ford has completely changed the car buying experience forever. And with a return policy easier than Walmart, Hagerstown Ford has a goal to deliver 350 cars and trucks per month. And when I say deliver, I mean deliver to you where you are, just like Amazon does. And if you don't want it, return it. No questions asked. The only way Hagerstown Ford can accomplish this extremely aggressive goal is to make the car buying process fast and easy. We simply refuse to play the dumb back and forth games that most dealerships want to play. There's absolutely no reason for you to waste your precious time at a car dealership. I assure you, there is no dealership from Winchester, Virginia to Washington, D.C. that can beat our price. There's no dealership that will allow you to return your new car if you don't want it. Hagerstown Ford absolutely has the best price, and we'll bring the car to you. And if you don't want it, return it, period. No questions asked. There's no reason to buy anywhere else. Visit HagerstownFord.com to schedule your VIP experience and get your new ride delivered to you. Contact dealer for details. What else do we have coming here down here, Robbie? We've got Martinsburg South Middle School. And it's their cheer group. Let's give it up for South Middle School and their marching band. Hey, thanks for letting us uh, set up shop here on your, your home turf. Yes. Okay, another side note. I did play in the band at South Middle School. Okay. But we did not have a marching band. This is amazing. They have a marching band now. I'm so excited. Go South Middle School Trojans. Amazing. Looks like we're followed here by the Apolloween hearse. 
uh, very spooky. We're in the very spooky spirit today. Oh, good. So after we get a little bit scared from the Halloween uh, hearse, we're going to uh, welcome some guests to our show. I'm so excited. Let me get my mic here. Look who's joined us. We have the president of the Mountain State Apple Harvest Festival, Susan Snowden. What an incredible day for a parade. The parade is packed. Oh Everyone my gosh. is having a fabulous time, wouldn't you? I mean, it is wonderful. And you and couldn't look, ask for better weather. And well, uh, unless you're from Texas. <laughs> Yo, the weather is incredible. Okay. It really is. It's beautiful, a nice little breeze, but the sun is out. At the, at the beginning of the route, I kind of saw like a lot of shade and saw a lot of people like oh, tucked no. in under yeah. covers. Right. And then it was like, oh man, it's going to be a little chilly. And then when you, and it opens up after yeah. a certain point and the sun's out and That's awesome. you know, people are out. And you know, it's, it's, it's beautiful to see this community come out and, and to support all of this. It really yeah. is incredible. So I thank you. I thank the committee. I thank this area. I thank yeah. Mountain State, you know, Apple Harvest Festival for choosing me to be the Grand Marshal. Oh, yeah. And just to witness this is really incredible and beautiful. Well, we are so honored to have yeah, you. Thank and you. thank you again for what you spoke into the lives of so many young people. Yeah. There you go. That, well, come on. Oh, we there appreciate we go. that yeah, so much. Great. Hey, oh. stick around. Stay here. Right, We're gonna, you, around. You're really good at color commentary. Help eat, us out. Eat I'm your eat apple. apple though. Because I want to give a shout out to uh, the talent show winner at the Apollo Civic Theater. This is Miss Savannah Brown. Amazing. Savannah. Congratulations. And we have another one coming up January 12th. So so, hey, and then the Girl Scout Troop uh, 15028, look, with St. Joseph School, yes. Great job, guys. Great job, girls. Awesome. Look at this truck. That's right. That's a big truck. So, That's yeah. the kind of truck I'm trying to get my How's wife to let apple? me get. She won't, she, she says I can't justify it. <laughs> How's that oh, this apple is delicious. Is it? It's such a delicious apple. Can you name apple. that apple? It's a gal apple. Hey, good. Wow. He already knows his apple knowledge. So at lunch, one of the queens, I asked her, I said, what apple is this? She said, I'm not quite sure. Now, she's not a queen. She's like on the court. Yeah. So she hasn't had like the full test yet. Yeah. And I said, I bet you it's a gala apple. She's like, uh -huh. I don't believe you because I've already been joking with her a lot. She's like, I don't believe you. I asked the gentleman to come over. I said, excuse me, what kind of apples do you guys put on the table? He said, gala apple. I said, oh my gosh. Go. See, Mike drop. all these things that we didn't know about you, JR, that okay. made you the perfect fit for I think I'm going to be 41. I, yes, I think, I think you I'm could gonna be, 41. be 41 right here. I got the wave down. I know my apple. <laughs> I want to ride in that truck next year. Oh my I'm going to be goodness. in the back with all the cute cookies. Oh There's my nothing gosh. like Girl Scout cookies. Oh, I'm telling you. Oh my you. gosh, it's that time of year. That's isn't how I got it? this tire. Samoas. That's my. That's oh, I like my the thin What's your cookie. favorite? The mints. Mints. The thin mints, and you put them in the freezer. That's oh, the way to do it. That's yeah. the way to Gotta do it. Gotta freeze it. Even the camera guy is like, oh, he like, he's about to go buy some right now. So I love this part of our festival. We have what's called the Mister and Miss Apple Seed, and um, there is the. Tw that's our 2018 Little Miss Apple Seed. Hello. Hello. How are you, Aspen? Can you give us a wave? Hi. Hello, Hi, Aspen. And <laughs> So we will be crowning or uh, announcing tomorrow at the Youth Fair Grounds our 2019. That's tomorrow. Susan left us. So there she is. No, no, but it's a beautiful day. People are so excited, and I hope that everybody comes on down to the yes. fairgrounds tonight. Yes. Nathan Barge's 4 o'clock. Oh, my gosh. So much more after the parade. You you don't want to miss it. You want to head out to the uh, Berkeley County Youth Fair Grounds. Oh, there is Little, Little Mr. Mister. Appleseed. Yes. Can Killian. you give us a wave, Killian? Hello. I love that name. I love your tractor. That's awesome. Very cool. And your crown. Look at that face. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Well, hey, we're, we're going to say goodbye for, to you guys for now. And um, we'll see you around. Again, thank you, sir, thank for you. your service, for your testimony today thank and inspiring us. I really wish I could have gotten to do a with you so I could say that oh. you know but I am a huge fan of Dancing with the Stars. Let me tell you something. So after I was on the show everybody wanted me to dance with them and then <laughs> you know I did it and then I started trying to dip people until one day I dropped somebody. Oh, that no. was the end. Okay that well maybe the... I don't want to yeah, do that. Uh, yeah okay <laughs> see you JR. Yeah. All right and Miss Virginia Sign how are you? It's good to see you. Known that lady all my life. <laughs> she knew my daddy Suge. She was part of the family. All right, who else we got coming, Robbie? 
Oh Look, my. Looks like we have Miss West Virginia. Yes, Miss Tori Ann Grail. I got the honor of seeing her crown this year. We had the Miss West Virginia and Miss West Virginia Outstanding Teen Pageants right here in our community. It was the first time ever and it was, it was amazing. Fantastic. I got to see her crown. I got to see her twirl. Oh my goodness. <laughs> She's a former WVU feature wow. twirler. Let's go. Yeah, That's right. Let's come go on. Mountaineers. And her little sister, they call it in the in the Miss West Virginia system, is behind her. That's Lauren Rose, Miss West Virginia's outstanding teen. I also got to see her crowned and she's amazing. She dances. I love seeing her dance. She's so graceful and beautiful on the stage. Thank you, Lauren, for being with us again. No Are better you? place. Yeah than the Eastern Panhandle to host an event like that. Uh, yeah, I'm biased, right? but... And look at our friends, Jerry, Jerry and, and Esther, Esther Moran. Hi, how are you? Look Love at your that Mustang. car. <laughs> yes, there's truly no place like home. I love this year's Apple Harvest Festival theme. So fitting. It is fitting. It's going to stick with us for a while. I can feel it. Who do we have coming down well, here? Well, we have a truck, I believe, that's carrying on Andrew Cloud, who's a youth author, and Cheryl Levon, who is a publisher. And so wow. we're going to give a wave to them. That is quite an accomplishment. That is. Props to you for what you're doing. An incredible job. I want to well get done. that book and read that. Yes. Absolutely. Thank you, Cheryl. Thank you, Andrew. So much talent here in the Eastern Panhandle. And here we go. One of our first dance companies in the area to um, be on the parade route besides our high, high school units. Robbie, this is extreme dance. Yes, it is. And looks like we have a oh fur baby with him, too. Our first real themed dance. This is the theme. There's truly no place like home. Look I love that. it. <gasps> we were wondering how many people would get in the spirit. Would get of... in the spirit. I'm so glad. Thank you, Extreme Dance, for bringing our theme alive. I love That's it. That's awesome. Awesome costumes. Great job. Let's take a look at the dance. Yeah, let's look in. Oh my goodness. I think I'm going to fix my hair while the truck is going by. Oh my goodness. The mirror we have here. How are we doing? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Got Dorothy, the lion, the scarecrow, the tin man. I love it, girl. Tin woman, in this case. Tin woman, sorry. And look, our theme there's no place like home. Great job, Extreme. I wonder if the judges are going to take theme into, I, well, into consideration. I would, yeah, I don't even know if they know our theme. I hope they do. Well. <laughs> Well, now they do. Now they do. Yeah. Oh, look, and Glinda. Oh, look at all the Glindas. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. Look. Hi, girls. Oh, my goodness. I might be a little scared. There's the Wicked Witch of the East. <laughs> as long as the monkeys aren't here. No flying monkeys? Okay. No flying monkeys. We're good. Okay. And the Wonderment Puppet Theater. Who doesn't like the puppet theater? Staple of Who downtown could, Main yes. Street. Who can say they have their very own puppet theater in their hometown? This is amazing. Kermit the Frog joined us. It's awesome. Thank you for what you do. Come visit oh, yeah. them. All right. More, more No Place Like Home. I know. Check the it Women's out. Club of Martinsburg. I love it. Oh, what? The theme is really kicking off here well now. Done. Great job. They're There's always Dorothy. a part of our, our um, parade every year. They're so creative. We oh, love the seeing. There's oh, There's some monkeys no. after all. I hope not. Really? Okay. Yeah. All right. Here we go. We're moving right along, Robbie. This is the Martinsburg Berkeley County Parks and Rec. Flip, Flip over gymnastics. Well, of course it is. They're flipping down the hill. Check them out. Let's Man, see what I they got. Man, I appreciate flip over gymnastics. I could never do the things <laughs> that they're doing. And again, right in theme with there's no place there's like no home. There's no place like home. Great job. Great job, flip over. Another great 
thing in our community, Robbie, the Martinsburg Berkeley County Parks and Recs, and they have so many amazing programs. This is just one of them, and um, we're just so blessed in we this really community, are. and I'm so glad they are all participating in our, our parade. It really does help our community know what all they have right here in their Absolutely. own hometown. Absolutely. So thank you guys. Great job. And right behind them, we have West Virginia House of Delegates, Jason Barrett, giving us a wave. Great supporter of all things Martinsburg and the Absolutely. festival. He's one of our sponsors of the festival. He helped sponsor the gala, I believe. And um, he just is always there to lend um, lend his support to yeah. community activities. So thank you, Jason, for all you do and representing us in the state of West Virginia. And your dog, I want to know your dog's name. Winnie. 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 Hi, Winnie. That's right. Exactly. Winnie is the star of the show. <laughs> oh, gosh. We got to get back here. Uh, right behind them, we have the St. Joseph Middle School Musical Crusaders. I said musical. It's music. I need to correct myself. St. Joseph Middle School Music Crusaders. I'll try that again. I'll get it right. Thank you, guys. They're awesome. Look at their blue and gold Let's themed in. float. That was great. That was great. Good job, guys. All right, Robbie, it looks like right behind them is Berkeley Center for Dance. And um, I have a little bit of information on that I'm honest here right. because they wanted to let us know that their mission is to provide a quality dance education with positive and stimulating instruction. Uh, Kendra Miller. Appleyard and Greta Gain are the co-owners of Berkeley Center for Dance, who are Ber both Berkeley County natives, no place like home, wow. right? And um, they both have 20 years of combined experience as instructors there, and they are just proud of their dancers, and they love watching them grow. Let's watch in. Looks like we have dancers of all age. Yes. Ages. So that's Berkeley Center for Dance. They're a local group. They're, it looks like they're getting ready to perform for us. Wow. Wow. Out of order. All right, and right behind them, we have the have Harmony of Martinsburg Assisted Living. Is that who we have? Yes, no? It says Harmony. Looks like it. I see harmony on, yes. across their shirts. We had a little bit of out of order there on our paper, but we can adjust. Right, Robbie? Absolutely. Okay, I see there's no Robbie. place like home. I was going to say, I spy a hashtag. There's no place like home. Okay, who had it first? Did we or did they? <laughs> did you have it first? Sounds well, thank like you. Spire Mortgage. Thank right you. First. Well, we're just trying to help you out. <laughs> Great, great branding opportunity for them. There we go. And it's it's that time. We All have right. the past. Oh my Pomona's goodness! I wonder down. if I'll be able to rattle them off like while I run out of breath like the last time. You, you might. Think? Well, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna give it a try just because uh, you know. I'm gonna try. That's what I'm gonna do. Oh, we lost a Queen Pomona here. Uh oh. Is she walking? All right, uh, so there they are. Here come our past Queen Pomonas who have some of them returned home just for the weekend. And we are going to just give a wave out. I believe that's our first teal is there and our second and mock, right? I did it. I remembered. Great. <laughs> awesome. And there's Miss uh, Leslie Robinson Lopez, a great story for the Apple Harvest Festival. She met, she met her, her husband at the Apple Harvest. Who's driving her? <laughs> awesome. Thank you, Queen Best Pomona 10. That. Yes, we are so That's we love fantastic. to have stories like that. There truly is no place like home. All right, and we have more past Queen Pomona's. I believe this is Trina Ellis, correct? No, are we skipping? 
I'm trying, Chris, Chris Wagner, I recognize you. Thank you, Chris Wagner Moran, for joining us today. Okay, and I see some familiar faces there. Miss Megan Hudson, and Hi. who do, is that Jennifer? Tori. Tor Wait, I can't see. Okay, that's Tori, yes, Shamblin. Hi, Tori. Master of Ceremonies last night. Sorry, we're out of order here a little bit. And here we have Miss Caitlin Wagner and Olivia Ayers. Hi, girls. And their Hi. sweet dog as well. And their cute dog as well. Stealing the I show. Love it. All right, and one of our former Queen Pomona's, who is now our prosecuting attorney, Miss Katie Wilkes Delegati. It's always cool to see where they uh, end up after I their know, queen. Right? It is amazing, and I believe behind. Um, this behind Katie, hi Katie, is uh, Madison Smallwood. She was Queen Pomona 35. Wow. Yes. Hi Madison. And I see Queen Pomona 36. I'm just going to start saying their numbers like JR. There you that go. That makes it easier. But this is Kira Heck. Hey Kira. We're happy to have her. She's a student at Shepherd College, so she's still local and, and nearby. Now they're out of order, I know, behind her, so they don't have their names on the side, but I know after Kira, we have, I remember her, what is her name? What is your name? Holler out. Trina, yes, thank you for being with us. Former queen, again, they should just put their numbers on the side of the car so that I can find it quicker. Trina Martin Ellis, she was Queen Pomona 15, Robbie. Yeah. All right, okay, let me get back to the others. I know that I have Queen Pomona 37 coming. I think it was a test. This is Jordan Beer. I think they were just putting them out of order to see if I could figure it out and I could remember. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you think? Yeah. I don't know. Might have missed one in there. <laughs> All right. Oh, wait, there's yeah. somebody on the back of the truck. I yeah. missed her. Okay. <laughs> Give a wave. Hi. I gotta look back and see who was that. That was that we missed. Coming in the blue car, we have our um, two of our most recent Queen Pomona's, Lauren Reiner and Sydney Morris. That's right. Lauren was a student at Spring Mills, and Sydney, uh, she's a graduate of Hedgesville High School. Now at They're WVU. both at WVU now. Yes. Thank you for coming back home, girls. And behind them, we have Miss Lauren Linton, a graduate of Hedgesville High School. A classmate of mine as well. Graduate of. WVU, yes, That's classmate right. of yours. That's right, you all graduated together. All right, so Class I did it. Okay, I just missed a couple of people. I missed someone on the truck. I want to remember who was on the truck. I wonder if that was Jennifer. <laughs> That's one that I didn't say, so sorry about that. Making the decision to purchase your first or your next home is one of the biggest you'll ever make. You need local partners you can trust to make the process easy, quick, and affordable. Trust the experience and dependable professionals at CNB Bank. Our mortgage lenders and our decision makers are local and we have the advantage of on-site underwriters. With our nine locations in Berkeley Springs, Hedgesville, Martinsburg, Hancock, and new locations in Spring Mills and Hagerstown, we are right around the corner wherever you may be. We are CNB Bank. Welcome home. Let's talk trash, because when it comes to trash, you have options. Panhandle Dumpsters is a local family-owned garbage hauling company serving both residential and commercial customers with weekly trash pickup, dumpster service, yard waste pickup, and bulk pickups, too. Panhandle Dumpsters will give you a free trash can and provide curbside service for just $23 a month. Panhandle Dumpsters features a fleet of quieter, eco-friendly garbage trucks, thereby reducing the noise usually associated with pickup. Switch now and save up to 30%. Call 833-DUMP-STR, panhandledumpsters.com. The level of care that I got at WVU Medicine was top notch. If you're not progressing in healthcare, you're falling behind. It's really an integration, looking at a clinical care network, looking at the good people who can help push the envelope and raise the bar for delivering quality healthcare product. To have my life back is absolutely a blessing. I am beyond thankful for WVU Medicine. I absolutely 100% have my life back. 
with four new car dealerships and four used car dealerships in three states. Parsons is the largest used car and fastest growing new car dealer in the tri-state area. Take Parsons Ford with huge savings on hundreds of new Fords, financing from 0%, Parsons goal of financing for all, and Parsons famous above market trade-in allowances that help make Parsons number one for used cars too. See why so many won't buy anywhere but Parsons Ford in Martinsburg. We became number one by making you number one first. Parsons. It's one of the toughest times you'll ever face when someone close to you passes away. It's a swirl of papers to sign and arrangements to be made, all while you're dealing with grief. At Brown Funeral Home, we encourage you to pre-plan. Pre-planning not only makes things easier for you, it protects you from rising costs. At Brown Funeral Home, our families are precious to us, and so are yours. Brown Funeral Home, in Martinsburg, Inwood, and Charlestown, Ranson. So, let's get back to our, oh, we have Division 2 coming, Robbie. Oh, wow. Division 2. So we're up on now you. complete with Division 1. All right, audience, are you ready for Division 3? Oh, wait. Division 2. Division two. 2. Oh, my goodness, I'm getting ahead of myself. I know. <laughs> yep, you're 2. I said it, and then I skipped ahead. <laughs> Looks like we have the United States Air Force Junior Reserve Officer Training Corps here. Yeah. Great job. Wow, look at that group of ROTC cadets. Wow. That's a big group. 237 strong. That is impressive. And all on the same beat. Well done. Great job. And also at the end of this unit of amazing cadets, we have the military ball queen. She's given a wave back there. She's got her pageant wave down. She does. And I love that she wore red for apple harvest. It's our ruby red anniversary. Well decorated with some yes. flowers back there. Thank you, Ashley. Great job. Well, you know, do you think that Musselman High School, they like have an unfair advantage every they year because they are the Applemen, right? They are the Applemen. <laughs> Not an unfair advantage, but they get to be the in theme band every year because they're always the Applemen. We're looking forward to seeing their performance. And Robbie, how about a fun fact about the fact that are in Inwood, in Musselman, the area. Tell them about what used to be there and what we still know that's famous from this area, the apple. Yeah, Musselman and it's apples. in the namesake. That's uh, right. Musselman apples. Yes. Uh, they originate in Inwood there. Yes. And, uh, the plant used to be there in This whole operation. weekend is celebrating our heritage yeah. and our uh, roots in in apple orchards. And man, there it's in the name. It is. It is. We don't want to forget what this weekend's all about. And That's that is right. celebrating our rich tradition of agricultural history. And much of that is our apple orchards.
this year's Apple Harvest Festival, none other than local from our area, Christian Rose. Look at that car. Yeah, look at that. Okay, look at his, what do you, uh, his, what do you call that? Uniform costume. Um, yeah. Look, he's got his pageant wave down. Oh, we're excited wow. about that. But he You're has, a natural Christian. We're so excited. Look at his grace car. It was decorated just for the, the anniversary of the Apple Harvest Festival. We're so right. excited to have him. He will have that at the Youth Fair grounds yeah. all weekend. You can come down and get your picture taken. And hey, check it him. out. And right behind him, Hornby, Hornby Media, Media Group. Group. And they have with them, look at them, Martinsburg High School. We love it. The football awesome. team. Great job, Great guys, on your night. win last night. And they are on um, TV 10 every week. That's right. Yes, they Tune are. Tune in on Fridays. And, of course, Media Hornby Media represents Around the Panhandle, Valley Homes and Style, Talk Radio WRNR. And TV 10. TV 10. Thank you, guys. Thank you for getting the word out in our community. And look who's on the back of their truck. That was oh, Muscleman, Muscleman Volleyball. Uh, state champions. Here. How many years, girls? Oh, my gosh. So many you can't count. Six. Oh, my gosh. Great I'll try job. try not to be upset that there's no Eagles in there, Mike. <laughs> okay. And they also are on the um, oh, okay. on we won two Talk Radio Weekly, right? A live show. That's right. That we, we sh yeah, feature. You know, we are a community of champions. Martinsburg, all of our kids are cha champions. And, That's right. Yeah. We have track champions. We have show choir champions. We have football champions. I was and, lucky enough when I was in school uh -huh. at Hedgesville, we won two championships, one in basketball wow. oh, yeah. and one in baseball. That's incredible. Martinsburg's like, oh, yeah, we do that every other. I know. We do that in every our sleep year. in football. Yeah. I know, right. And basketball. I know. All right, I love it. We've got the Cub Scout Pack 66 with St. Joseph Church coming down the hill. Welcome. You know, I, that's what I love about a parade. I love that about the Mountain State Apple Harvest Parade, that it's a variety of all things in our community. And it feels so good to yeah. be here. I mean, I, growing up as a, a child in this community, we would put our blankets out. I see people on the streets, uh, with, on the sidewalks, have their blankets out, their chairs. We would come out early and put ours out. And we couldn't wait, me and my cousins and aunts and uncles. It was just something we looked forward to. It was, it was a memory that um, I always have and Absolutely. so I love that the Cub Scouts are still involved in the parade that it's just it's what makes the parade so special yeah. yep absolutely all right it looks like we have some more queens headed our way. I see sparkly crowns. We've got Miss Northeastern 2019, Elizabeth Lynch, and her princess Cheyenne and Justin Justine Burtz. We have the uh, princess, or I'm sorry, West Virginia princesses Gracie Kane and Paige Edwards also coming down the hill. Actually, it looks like Gracie might be just her. <laughs> All the princesses are in that car. Hi, Miss Northeastern. All right. And this is, as I said, Miss Gracie Kane, and she is one of our West Virginia princesses for 2019. So many crowns in this parade. I know. I love all the sparkle. Hi, Grace. <laughs> all right. So, Robbie, while we're waiting for the next unit to head down the hill, I, it's just, it's, we have to take the opportunity. I know when many people see um, this broadcast, some of the events will already be passed, but let's talk about the things, if they watch today at 4 o'clock, what they could still uh, take in. For example, coming right into our booth right now is Christian Rose, our yeah. sports celebrity. Oh, my gosh, Christian, we are so excited you're back home with us. I, I have to get your autograph because you're going to be famous I'm one day. With me. Okay. Already famous. Absolutely. And we're excited because you're going to be with us down at the fairgrounds. You're I going am. to have your car. I am. We're going to be signing autographs and we can take some pictures out there as well. So I'm excited for that. If you're around the area, come on out. Yeah. yeah. I have a question for you. Go for was it. that just torture going so slow it, yeah. during the parade? <laughs> you know, was, was that thinking, so hard? It's kind of like pre-race. So <laughs> okay. I, I wanted to like have a race after this, get in the car, you know, just like, like how events go before our races go. So I was amped up. I'm ready to race. There you go. Got to wait. 
Well, we are so excited to have you, especially this year, our theme being There's No Place Like Home, and that you came back home to encourage the young people at the sports breakfast today. I loved your message about going to school, getting your education. I love the message that you gave the students not to be afraid of failure. Absolutely. And that even though your plan to be a professional baseball player didn't work out, yep. look at you now. Absolutely. And that's... If I didn't fail, I wouldn't be where I'm at right now. So failure taught me how to bring out the best in me. And if I can encourage anybody that's watching or, or listening, push yourself. You're going to fail, but if you fail, the only way to go is go forward from there. Yeah. Right. So push yourself. Never failures, just lessons learned, right? Absolutely. Well, Absolutely. I can tell you, we are excited to watch your racing career. We'll be cheering you on from Martinsburg and hopefully sponsoring you on. I love And that. getting you into, um, you know, the big leagues. That's Absolutely. not really in racing. I said it, the big leagues. It's still the big leagues. Help me out, Robbie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Any more questions for our sports celebrity? No, just really thankful that you can make it back. And Absolutely. Looking forward. We're all cheering for you up here. Yeah. Absolutely. Hopefully we'll be back for the 50th. And yeah. we'll see Absolutely. you down at the uh, Youth Fair Grounds later Absolutely. today. Absolutely. I can't wait. Everybody Thank come you. out. I know when you're seeing this, you might say, oh, I missed it. You didn't. He will be out there this evening. Are you going to be there tomorrow? I will be there tomorrow morning. So there wow. you go. Sunday, come out and see Christian Rose. Get your autograph. See his car that's wrapped in our festival logo. Absolutely. Thank you very much, Thank Christian. Thank you guys so much all for right. having me. This has been well done. Thank uh, you. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, and here we have flipping down the, the hill. Who, are, who was that, Robbie? I, we got to catch up. Is this Hedgesville? Yes, it is. It's Hedgesville Middle Eagles. School. Welcome. We are so, oh, and they are, they are sporting our theme. There's no place like home. And look at their float. Look at all the characters. I see them all. They are rocking. Great job. Even a live Toto. Wow. Yeah. Oh, good. my goodness. Great job. Great job, Hedgesville. Let's go, Eagles. Your alma mater. That's right. Making the decision to purchase your first or your next home is one of the biggest you'll ever make. You need local partners you can trust to make the process easy, quick, and affordable. Trust the experienced and dependable professionals at CNB Bank. Our mortgage lenders and our decision makers are local, and we have the advantage of on-site underwriters. With our nine locations in Berkeley Springs, Hedgesville, Martinsburg, Hancock, and new locations in Spring Mills and Hagerstown, we are right around the corner wherever you may be. We are CNB Bank. Welcome home. Hi, this is Eric from Hagerstown Ford. I keep telling you that Hagerstown Ford has completely changed the car buying experience forever. And with a return policy easier than Walmart, Hagerstown Ford has a goal to deliver 350 cars and trucks per month. And when I say deliver, I mean deliver to you where you are, just like Amazon does. And if you don't want it, return it. No questions asked. The only way Hagerstown Ford can accomplish this extremely aggressive goal is to make the car buying process fast and easy. We simply refuse to play the dumb back and forth games that most dealerships want to play. There's absolutely no reason for you to waste your precious time at a car dealership. I assure you, there is no dealership from Winchester, Virginia to Washington, D.C. that can beat our price. There's no dealership that will allow you to return your new car if you don't want it. Hagerstown Ford absolutely has the best price, and we'll bring the car to you. And if you don't want it, return it, period. No questions asked. There's no reason to buy anywhere else. Visit HagerstownFord.com to schedule your VIP experience and get your new ride delivered to you. Contact dealer for details. If you're not progressing in health care, you're falling behind. W Medicine has planted itself here, and they're the first university that I've found who wants to take ownership of this population of Western Maryland, Southern Pennsylvania, Eastern Ohio, and the good people of West Virginia. And it's, it's really refreshing to see. I was able to do things uh, that the patients were going away for, which is good for the patients and it's good for us because we have more resources. It certainly has helped take us to another level. We all know what a good time looks like, but what is it made of? We can think of a few things. In this case, it's handcrafted food to gather around, an ever-changing variety of wine, and a Friday night. Do yourself a favor. Experience the good in a good time. Awesome! It's nice. Always wearing blue and gold. I love it. Yes, that is great. Man, how, how lucky are we to have such a 
such awesome talent from this area and, I know. and willing to come back and be a part of something like this. I know. I really appreciate that. Christian Rose is such a nice young man and I, what, an, what an honor to have him home and he will represent us well and he will, uh, people will have a great impression of West Virginia just through his testimony. Yeah, so we're excited. It's always great whenever we have some We're going to follow that career. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and here we have our state treasurer, John Perdue. He is always a part of our festival. We're so excited to have him here. There it is. Yes. Thank you for being with us today. Getting towards the end. Always nice having dignitaries. It is. To take their time out of everything that they do to join us for the parade. Thank you so much. It's great to have you here in the Eastern Panhandle. And speaking of the youth fair grounds that many of our events are out there at, the agricultural events, remember, remind me to tell you more about that because that's yeah. something happening tomorrow that people, a lot of people might not know about and I want to share about that. But we have none other than Miss Berkeley County Youth Fair. I believe her name is Hannah. Hi, Hannah. Hannah Alt is with us, and we're so excited. And we're taking over the youth fair grounds this weekend for the apple harvest. So. Check out that ride that she is in. I know. Check that out. How about that? Amazing. All right. And behind her, we have West Virginia Court Justice Tim Armstead. And he is running for the West Virginia Supreme Court Justice. Thank you for joining us in the Eastern Panhandle. Let's go Mountaineers. <laughs> Do we have a score for the game? I guess when this is d uh, played later, it'll be over, right? Yeah, if you're, so, uh, if you're watching probably this, it's not too relevant. late. Okay. Well, as we wait, and I can hear Spring Mills um, High School Band is on their way, the Cardinals. And I just want to give a shout out. They're an amazing uh, high school yep. band. And um, I found out from one of our parade uh, goers earlier that today they're also, this weekend, Apple Harvest. There's all kinds of things happening all over our community, Apple Harvest Weekend. And the, you can also, if you enjoy seeing... Um, band performances head out to spring mills they're having a sh uh, showcase of bands a oh, competition wow. i love it it's apple harvest weekend just well, all even, things apple harvest even more special that they joined us today they have something happening this can afternoon can you imagine they're marching now and then they're gonna hurry scurry back to spring mills to get ready to host a competition you know Good i live over that. in uh, falling waters and i hear them all the time that's right you are a resident so welcome spring mills And you know what? I love it. I thought that's what I heard. They have patriotic colors, and how patriotic yes. that they chose that song. The middle school is the Patriots. Huh? The middle school is the Patriots at Spring Mills. Exactly. They even brought their mascot. They have the Cardinal back there. Busy day for the Cardinals Serious. today. Serious. Good luck, guys. Thank you for coming out to the parade. And right behind them, while we're talking about Spring Mills, we have their FFA headed down the hill to appropriately. Yeah, and they have with a, a tractor pull. Exactly. So we're excited that they're part of this awesome parade, following their marching band. <laughs> that is a very cool tractor. Can you even call that a tractor, Robbie? I think you would call that an impressive tractor. I always thought tractor. the song said your tractor is green, but that's blue. And hey, how appropriate for Spring Mills because they are blue and red and yeah. white. So, Who you said know. they had to be green? <laughs> that's right. But they are in theme. Look, it looks like they're in theme on the float for our There's No Place yep. Like Home. There's a Dorothy. I love it. That's awesome. Thank you for tying into our theme this weekend. And behind them, we have the Eastern Panhandle Youth Cheerleaders. I hope we hear some cheers, girls.
I think we're about to see some oh, here great we go. performers. These girls um, are a part of the, they, they cheer for the Eastern Panel Youth Football League. Oh, wow. All different age groups. Robbie, you're an alumni. You were a part of the Browns. And uh, it's a great training ground for the girls before going into the high schools and middle schools. And we're so excited to have them here. They are loud and proud and sparkly. Great job, girls. Woo. Aw, got another truckload of them. That's awesome. Great job, cheerleaders. Great job. And behind the cheerleaders from Eastern Panel Youth Football League, we have Caitlin Shank, America's national teenager, West Virginia, junior sweetheart. It's great to celebrate all the different it is. I love people it. that have Thank accomplished you. so Thank much. Thank you for being with us, Caitlin. And behind her, Clear Spring, all the way from Clear Spring, Maryland. I mean, it's not that far. They're kind of neighbors, but it's great to have neighboring yep. states bands join us. We have such a great parade. Others hey, join us. So the thank apple you. orchards don't stop at the border. They don't. They don't cut off at the Maryland line. So thank you, Clear Spring, for joining us. They are regulars in the Apple Harvest Parade. We are so grateful that they're here with us again today. Behind them, I see uh, the Pride Lacrosse Group. I, I see them. I think I remember when the Pride first got it got started, yes, and uh, I agree. had some friends that that got you involved did. with that. That's right. Yeah. A great addition to sports and recreation Absolutely. in our community. Berkeley County Pride Lacrosse. Thanks for being a part of the parade. Looking good, fellas. All right, so we have West Virginia Radio, uh, the big dog, WEPM 1340, 97.5. 97.5. Today is 97.5. Thank you for joining us and being a part of the parade. Rona! Hello, my girl. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and we have with us Mike Folk, who is a candidate for governor. Thank you, Mike, from our very own Eastern Panhandle. Thank you for being here. And, and great job with the theme. We love your float. Awesome. All right, next we have Snyder's Bible Chapel. And I think they might be singing for us. Yeah, let's listen in. All right, and then behind them we have John Hutchinson, a candidate for the West Virginia Supreme Court. Thank you for being with us in the parade today. Absolutely. And then St. Luke's United Church, United Methodist Church, we have behind them. Looks like, looks like we have some uh, some scouts in there. And some scouts, no place like some home. Girl scouts. Troop four seven eight two two. Thank you, girls. And then we got Smith for governor. Oh yeah. Their music playing loud. I know you're grooving. Thank you for coming. Stephen Smith for governor. All right, making their way down the hill to the judging area. We have the Silver Starlets. Also now, from on the other side of the uh, river. Yeah, from Hagerstown. And, you know, they join us pretty much every year. I remember them as a staple. You know, growing up, that was one of the things I remembered the most about parades was the featured twirlers and the twirling groups. In fact, one of our parade organizers, I'll never forget, Kevin McBee. Oh, my gosh, he had a group. Oh, my, I got to think. My brain doesn't work very fast. But... The Revengers, I can see them. They were blue and they were amazing. And I loved watching them. I knew so many people who were in the Revengers. And I'm so glad it's still alive. Thank you, Silver Starlets, for being here and still keeping the twirling going. That's quite a setup of speakers yeah. they got going on. Oh my goodness, yeah. Woo! All right. <laughs> 
They got all age groups, Robbie. Um, great performance. Lots of energy. You can tell they do this a lot. Yeah. And I see from, look behind the speakers, they have the little starlets. So oh my sweet. goodness, I can't wait. Robbie, you think you could throw that up and catch it? Absolutely not. Yeah? I'm pretty much just going to go with no, I could not. So that's all right. That's why I enjoy watching them. That takes a lot of skill and practice. Coordination, that's awesome. Great job, ladies. the littlest dimension, division of their group. Oh my goodness, look at, and they even have some little drummers in the back, check wow. that out. Something for every age. That's right. I love it. What do you think, would you guess that a few of those boys playing the drums, their, their sisters are in it too? Uh, it's like a family a good affair. Bet. Yeah. <laughs> I might get scared. The Haunted Asylum at Camp Frame. Now talk about going all out for a float. Wow. This is pretty impressive. So if that's what they do with a float, can you only imagine what they have at Camp Frame? <laughs> I can say from experience, imagine. it's a great, is it? great Haunted Asylum if you like okay. a good scare. Well, I think I'll just settle for watching it in the parade. I don't think I need to head out, but if you enjoy that kind of thing, by all means, I've heard it's great. As you said firsthand, you've, been, you've gone and it's, it's been a, a great thing. So. Just so casually sitting atop the truck. Just waiting for people to be afraid and come on out. So And I'm, the proceeds yeah. benefit the relay for life. Well, that's great. I love that that it's all going for a good cause. October 4th through November 2nd, Saturday Friday and Saturday at Camp Rain. Okay. Oh Very spooky. Goodness. goodness. <laughs> and behind the scary golf cart, we have Berkeley County Community Chorus. They have an event coming up in December, their holiday concert at St. Leo Community Church. Yes. Catholic Church. St. Leo Catholic Church. You got it. CC. All right, coming down the hill there, Robbie, it looks like we have the Girl Scout Troop 1507 and their float. Is in theme. They all read and saw the promotions. I love it. I'm so excited. There is no place like home. That's right. Take Great job. Girl Great job, girls. And there we have Mike Lang, who is a candidate for sheriff. Thanks for being a part of this awesome parade. And also driving the antique fire truck is none other than Eddie Gokenheyer, who is running for city or county council. Thank you for being a part of the parade. I love that love antique. The, love the antiques. Love the so retro. So nice. Thanks for being a part of it. And look at the in the back. And we have. Jim Douglas, candidate for the West Virginia Supreme Court in that amazing antique car. With a fantastic top hat. Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look who's coming down the hill. We have the Paul's Cross Dog Rescue. Oh, wow. And they have their friends with them, their fur friends. 
Aren't they awesome? They're adorable. I and think they want to go. Out, I think they want to go out in the car, in the car, in the audience, and they're trying to make friends. I love it. They need friends, so they're rescue um, dogs. They have a great, great mission. I love that they're a part of our parade. They've been a part of our parade for a while now, and. Five years they've been a part of the parade. It's so nice to have them. They're so well behaved. They're so much fun. Look at them. They even have their mascot. And I love the truck that they decorated. That's awesome. It looks like the uh, the car. Have you seen Dumb and Dumber? No. No? No. It looks like the vehicle. <laughs> That's awesome. Viewers at home. Help me out here. So, yeah, so thank you to them for all they do. Paul's Cross Dog Rescue. Great service in our community. And look at all those cute, sweet fur babies wow. on board. And there is no place like home. There's no place like home for a shelter dog. They're amazing. Adopt one. All right, who we got? Oh, another Hornby Media Group sponsored vehicle. Nope. Nope. No? Well, I saw Martins. I saw uh, orange and black, and I was mistaken. So that's good times. I know oh, that. Good times. I saw the orange best. and black. I knew it was Martinsburg. Apple dumplings. Yes, the, the best. best apple dumplings. Yes. So Look thank forward you to this time of year for to being get those a part dumplings of the Apple year. Harvest Festival. We are about to see Division 3. The Sheriff's Department is kicking it off. And we are, we've got Hedgesville High School. That's right, yeah. That's right. I'm taking, I'm taking back. If you have been injured in an auto accident or due to someone's negligence and you want to know what your rights are, call Ferretti Law Office at 264-8505 to discuss your claim for free. Attorney Joe Ferretti is prepared to answer your questions and explain your options. Put Joe Ferretti's legal experience and history of proven results in your corner to fight the bullies from the insurance companies. At Ferretti Law Office, we're here to help you win. They're my closest friends. We've been through a lot together. Seeing our kids off to college, Kelly losing her mom, my 50th birthday, I trust them with so much. So when it came to my finances, I trusted Kelly's referral to her Ameriprise advisor. Beth gives me the comprehensive advice that helps me feel confident my financial future is secure. With the right financial advisor, life can be brilliant. Ameriprise Financial. With four new car dealerships and four used car dealerships in three states, Parsons is the largest used car and fastest growing new car dealer in the tri-state area. Take Parsons Ford with huge savings on hundreds of new Fords, financing from 0%, Parsons goal of financing for all, and Parsons famous above market trade-in allowances that help make Parsons number one for used cars too. See why so many won't buy anywhere but Parsons Ford in Martinsburg. We became number one by making you number one first. Parsons. It's one of the toughest times you'll ever face when someone close to you passes away. It's a swirl of papers to sign and arrangements to be made, all while you're dealing with grief. At Brown Funeral Home, we encourage you to pre-plan. Pre-planning not only makes things easier for you, it protects you from rising costs. At Brown Funeral Home, our families are precious to us, and so are yours. Brown Funeral Home, in Martinsburg, Inwood, and Charlestown, Ranson. Hello everyone, Chef Walden here with the Historic McFarland House. We have cooked up something special for you. It's called Three Course Thursdays, and not only is it delicious, but it is a great bang for your buck at just $29 per person. That includes a glass of house red or white wine. You can select from a special menu, an appetizer, main course, and dessert. We even have a special intermezzo for this meal. It's a great deal, but it's only Thursdays from 5 until 8 p.m. You must make a reservation ahead of time. Call 304-263-1890.
now, hearing this this cadence, I feel like Friday Night Lights all over again. I know. you. My did senior play, year, I did play football. That's right, at Hedgesville High School. And your brother, Brady, was a drummer in that's the band right. for two years. And we enjoyed watching Hedgesville perform yeah. many years. So I love the marching bands and the parade. I mean, what's a parade without a marching band? And lots of them. We're what's so blessed. What's a parade blessed. without several marching several, bands? Right. And we're so blessed in our community to have four. Not many counties in our state can say they have four triple-A high schools, That's Robbie. That's true. <laughs> uh, fun fact for you, up there on the right is Miss Abigail McBee. She was riding on a car earlier as a Miss West, or, uh, she's a teen, I don't know, I can't remember her title right now, but I just see her double doing it right now. She's out there, she's a flag. Uh, she's trailer. double dipping? Yes. Good she on you. The, the first division and she swung back around and did the final division. Wow. What dedication. <laughs> Great job, Hedgesville. Hopefully that bodes well with the judges. Yes. Sorry, I'm over here getting a little little home cooking for my team. Yes. Looks like they got an update because when I was in school they had cowboy hats. I think they did have a uniform update, Robbie. Uh, and here we have another Cub Scout Pack joining us. Cub Scout Pack 25. You know, that's quite a walk for them. That's what, 3.2 miles for them. It is a 5K they're walking. Approximately. Approximately, yeah. <laughs> and so. What a great thing that they get out and march in the parade and they're a part of this community event. Thank you to Cub Scout Pack 25. So as we're waiting for this next truck to head down, I want to look, okay, I think that might be another queen. I see a shiny crown coming. I see crowns. I think that actually is Miss Jefferson County Danielle Stevenson coming. And um, I, I can see her crown above the cab of the truck. There she is waving. So welcome to her, Danielle from Jefferson And like Jefferson you said earlier, County. this isn't just a Berkeley County Martinsburg no. event. This exactly. is the Mountain State Apple Harvest Festival. And we're we participate so all across all three counties. Yeah, so we're glad to have everyone from all counties a part of this parade. Thanks for being with us. Yes, and also behind her is Miss Jefferson County's Outstanding Teen 2019, Joe Hutt, and her West Virginia Princess, Gracie Little. Thank you, ladies, for being a part of the festival. Do you think their arms are tired right now, Robbie? I would assume the whole so. Time. And they're, and, but they're the pros. And, and my, my arm would be tired. My mouth would be sore right now from smiling. You're nope, going to get asleep confirm. to not night smiling. <laughs> oh, great job, ladies. Thank you for being here. All right. There we have some more queens. We have Miss Shannon Doa's Outstanding Teen 2019, Emily Shannon. And I see a princess, too, in her car. So we're going to see who it is. I don't have it on my sheet, but I'm going to say what her name is when I see it. Are your eyes better than mine, Robbie? It looks like Emily Shannon. Emily Shannon. And Anna Schofield. And oh, okay. Anna That's, oh, okay, good. So we have Miss Shannon Doa's Outstanding Teen, and, the, and who is Emily Shannon, and Miss West Virginia's Princess, Anna Schofield. So I got now, that right. Now I hear somebody shredding right now. This is this is my kind of my kind of float here. All right, new creation ministry jamming for us. Arbor Care Car. And here we have drawn attention tattoos. And a nice 
nice cherry red Corvette. Yeah. And what do we have coming down here? We have another float. Look at that. That's very interesting. Is that in theme, you think? It looks like it is. All right. Turning the page. And we have Nathan Harmon for sure, candidate for sheriff on this float. There's awesome definitely job, no place like Nathan home on Harmon that float. Nathan Harmon for sheriff, and th there's no place like home, and that's Little Eagle Child Care Center. We've got another band topping the hill, Robbie. Trying to catch up on my list and figure that's... Let's talk trash, because when it comes to trash, you have options. Panhandle Dumpsters is a local family-owned garbage hauling company serving both residential and commercial customers with weekly trash pickup, dumpster service, yard waste pickup, and ball pickups, too. Panhandle Dumpsters will give you a free trash can and provide curbside service for just $23 a month. Panhandle Dumpsters features a fleet of quieter, eco-friendly garbage trucks, thereby reducing the noise usually associated with pickup. Switch now and save up to 30%. Call 833-DUMP-STR panhandledumpsters.com Shirts Sheets Hand towels Bath towels Gym wear Underwear Or whatever wear You can't skip laundry But now you can skip adding detergent Fill once and wash up to 40 loads Select Whirlpool washers With Load and Go Dispenser Another way we're shaping the future of care. With four new car dealerships and four used car dealerships in three states, Parsons is the largest used car and fastest growing new car dealer in the tri-state area. Take Parsons Ford with huge savings on hundreds of new Fords, financing from 0%, Parsons' goal of financing for all, and Parsons' famous above-market trade-in allowances that help make Parsons number one for used cars, too. See why so many won't buy anywhere but Parsons Ford in Martinsburg. We became number one by making you number one first. Parsons. If you hang the WV Medicine sign, it certainly has helped take us to another level. He literally, literally saved my life. It's just mind-boggling to me that he was able to do what he did. We're able to affect much more of a difference for our patients with these resources. Having people treated locally uh, enhances their overall care. They treat you great and they're down to earth in the West Virginia way that all West Virginians treat each other. J&P Service and Repair is the region's leader in tractor and agricultural equipment repair. And if you can't make it to them, they'll come to you with mobile service available. They also offer repair and maintenance for your light diesel truck. Now's the time to call J&P Service and Repair at 304-240-7379. Find out more online at jpservicerepair.com and check them out on Facebook. J&P Service and Repair, 2892 Winchester Avenue, Martinsburg. Built on trust, founded on service. Turning the page. And we have Nathan Harmon for sure, candidate for sheriff on this float. There's awesome definitely job. no place like Nathan home on Nathan Harmon that float. for sheriff. And th there's no place like home. And that's Little Eagle Child Care Center. We've got another band topping the hill, Robbie. Trying to catch up on my list and figure this out. Who do we have coming down the hill? It looks like I think it's Hancock, Hancock Middle School, right? Oh no, not middle. Middle senior high school. Combination. Yes. Okay. Well they Again, look great. Right across the Potomac. They brought their flags and everything. Wow. So fun fact, we we know that they have actually been a part of the parade since it, it began. They've always been in the parade. We love the people that have been participating I for know, years. And it's great. Adds, adds the it heritage says a lot to for it, the yeah. parade that they come back year after year and be a part of it. How about this weather today for the 40th? What more could you ask for? It's been great. It's just a little, nice a good crisp breeze, afternoon. a good sun. I mean, comfortable, not too cold, not too hot, just right. Great job to the Hancock 
middle and high school band. Thank you for being here today. Division, Robbie. That means we're winding down, but we still have a couple pages of, of entries to go, units to go. We're looking forward to seeing the remaining of the parade. We've got another fl uh, float that looks to be in uh, theme, possibly. I see some uh, witch's hat and some uh, great creativity there. That's right. I see the munchkins. Hi. Yeah. What a great job. Thank you for being here today. Awesome. That was our West Virginians for Life float. And here we come uh, over down the hill. We have 365 Church making a grand entrance. for a second. Great job, 365 Church. Thank you for being with us today. And who do we have coming down the hill here? I believe... A part of any good parade, Robbie, we have people running for office and people currently in office trying to get out and meet their communities and let them know what they represent. So we're always welcome to or happy to welcome candidates and we are welcoming now the Mooney for Congress camp and we are happy to have them here today. In the same tune, we have a sheriff candidate coming behind. That's right, Nathan Harmon, and he's got his truck and his banners and his crew. And um, they're working the crowds and getting people to know their name, and that's what it's all about. That's is right. It's getting word out in the community um, so people can know who their choices are when they go to the polls, right? So thank you for being a part of the parade and sharing your platforms. There's Mike Height. He uh, wouldn't let me in the sports breakfast this morning, but that's okay. <laughs> I snuck in anyways. Driven by Stevie Height. That's a right. A classmate of mine. County Council. That's right. Thank you, Mike. I won't forget. <laughs> So, you know what? This has been such an honor and privilege today for us to MC the parade. It's been such a tradition in my family growing up, being born and raised in the community. My father was sheriff. Your grandfather was sheriff That's of right. Berkeley County, Shug Kisner. He was a county commissioner. He, he Before that, he w ran Shug Sunoco on the corner of Queen and Ray. So for me, the parade is so special because it just brings back a lot of memories. And I just honestly, I when I watch a parade, I can't help but think about him. Yep. And um, I just... I love the Apple Harvest Parade and what it means to our community, and I'm so glad it, after 40 years that we still have this tradition and that people still come out in droves yeah. to, to see it and, and be a part of it. And it takes all kinds of units for a parade. Uh, a variety is amazing. And look at what we have coming down here now. You want to describe that, Robbie? That is the what? The right mix for a cure, Manor Concrete. Uh, 
I mean, there's not much to explain about a pink concrete car here. I love the message. It's awesome. It is awesome. Using your business to promote a cause, we are so, we love it. We doesn't we, get any better than that. Yes. Thank you for being a part. In, in, in theme with uh, Breast Cancer, Breast Cancer Awareness, Awareness Month that here is in right. October. That is so great. That was, the, I believe, the Berkeley County Relay for Life group that was, was sponsoring that. And I believe this is a part of it because they are once colors, upon a cure. Relay right. for Life is such an amazing event. So they all yeah. have, they have a theme every year and they, they do all these amazing things at the track. For 24 hours, they're out there walking, honoring survivors, raising money for research, uh, raising awareness for the organization. And we're so grateful that it's such a thriving yeah. uh, event in our community. Absolutely. It's the first weekend in June every year. So we love that. And um, we're just so glad that they're part of today's parade and bringing awareness to that as well and when you think about there's no place like home yeah. it's not just a place it's things like that that make places home absolutely and traditions the events, like this. exactly oh my goodness Robbie check it out it is the homestead farm equestrian center now. unit this folks is the largest horse in West Virginia Wow all right isn't that that a is a big horse. And oh, wow. they call him Big Jake. Hey, Big Jake. I, I understand. That is a... Jake, you are awesome. Awesome no place job. Like home. I love your flow. Good job. Yes, no place like home. And they have a Toto. Wow. They did 90% of the float themselves. The kids did 90% of that float themselves. Oh, good. And you know what? What is a parade without horses and the gifts they leave behind? <laughs> Seriously. And But the volunteers that come along and they take care of it, and it's just, I love it. That's just part of it. That is part of it. It's great. That's what horses do, right? <laughs> Thank you, do. guys. Like I know. They're, even the horses are dressed, and the riders are in costume. Him. Amazing. And this behind them, another horse themed unit. It's the Campbell family and friends. Buggy and horse, buggy horse, was that, am I saying that right? Buggy horse drawn float. You got right? it. That's right. So we're excited to have them both here with us today. That kind of looks like a Clydesdale horse to me. Yes. Campbell family and friends. Thank you for being a part of the Apple Harvest Festival today. After that little group, there might be as many horses as there are tiaras in the. I'm, I may be. Yes. In the, in the parade. And here comes some more. Maybe. And this must. This must be another Campbell family farm. This looks like Black Draft oh, Black Distillery. Draft. Okay, I'm thinking it because of the horses. And no, I but right in the theme, their logo is a yes. Is a black horse. We love it. So this yeah. is Black that's a, that's Draft Distillery. That's a good distillery. question. Will you guys be uh, handing out bourbon and, and moonshine to everybody? So or? they say candy's not available, but maybe your samples are are okay. The judges at this point might agree. <laughs> All right. That was Black Draft Distillery. Okay, we have another performing group on the hill. We're looking forward to seeing them. The All the studio, way from Clarksburg. Yeah, the studio for the performing arts majorettes, Clarksburg. So that's a good three hours. Wow. From and look here. at this. This is a new element. We have some flames. Real flames. Down. Real flames, not just flames on the side of a car. Impressive. Let's take a look at that when they get closer. I love it. So we've seen it all. We've seen twirling batons, traditional. We've seen flag twirlers. And now we're seeing twirling fire. Kicking it up a notch. Yeah. <laughs> well, I hope everyone has enjoyed. We have a few more to go, but I just want to take this opportunity to thank TV10 Absolutely. for Coming up with the idea to bring this wonderful parade and community event for the Mountain State Apple Harvest Festival 
to our airwaves to put it on the air so we can watch it many times over the course of the next year not just today but they plan to show it again uh, and they'll be promoting that on their Facebook account yep. and and letting you know when you can tune in or set your DVR um, to see it you can also go over to WRNR YouTube right that's right and you can find the parade there and so we're excited about that that this will live on and on not our part but the, the parade part absolutely <laughs> It's great for parents to go back and watch their their family in the parade. Right, so if you're marched, or the, the, the people who marched in the parade, now they get to go back and they can see themselves. That's right. So that's great. So we're excited to have another unit in our parade uh, that has a platform for office. That would be Dan Doulier, who is running for mayor. Welcome to the parade. And they have a nice harvest theme float. Dan Doulier, who is running for Mayor of Martinsburg. Thank you for being a part of our parade today. <laughs> Hi, Dan and Lori. Good to see you. <laughs> they have their own Toto in the car I as know, well. Toto. All the Totos today. Awesome. And we, here we have Michael Martin, who's running for school board. I love seeing young people running for office, Robbie. It's always good to have some it's new fresh great. blood in Not there. Not that there's anything wrong with old people like myself, but it's good <laughs> to have young people who love our community, who want to make a difference. Thank you for not being afraid and letting your youthful, not that you're that young, but you are younger. So thank you, Michael. Absolutely. Good luck. Thank you, I appreciate it. Yes. I know his mom too. She's really cool. <laughs> Is there anybody you don't know? I know everybody. The and unofficial another, mayor of Williamsburg yeah. here. All right. And another float uh, behind that. We're excited to have the kidney disease awareness float. You can make a difference. Donate right. a kidney and be what a hero. What an amazing thing for someone to donate their kidney. Uh, for someone who is stricken with that disease and so thank you for bringing awareness to that and um, yes there is hope well. I love their be a hero and I love their shirts that say hope oh my wow gosh. we have a fighter on the float awesome I would give my for her that little girl I could do that seriously like one day I'm gonna do that Robbie there you go you heard it here Martinsburg first. High School FFA Wow look at this live animals again it is awesome up to be a part of the apple harvest festival with these kinds of floats thank you so much for bringing out your friends <laughs> on the float today they're so well behaved <laughs> raised in a barn and robbie with that i just want to close out and say thank you for hosting with me this year it was awesome. awesome we enjoyed it hopefully they'll hire us back next year <laughs> And if they don't that's okay we'll watch it but we have had a great time with you today it has been amazing and even with all of our little blunders but um, we hope you've enjoyed the broadcast of the 40th annual mountain state apple harvest festival parade grand feature parade and we hope that you will come out for what's left over this weekend with festival events remember tomorrow at tonight at the youth fairgrounds tomorrow at the youth fairgrounds until four o'clock there's pop-up shops and arts there's the agricultural events if you can peel an apple or eat an apple better than anybody else in this area come out and compete Absolutely. it's really a cool contest so we hope that you will join us and if you're watching at home delayed after this be encouraged to come out next year there's so much to get involved with yeah and uh, there's no place like home and we want you to be a part of it and embrace uh, embrace our heritage embrace our roots right exactly so for the 40th annual Mountain State Apple Harvest Festival I'm Mary Beth Blair I'm Robbie Blair have a great weekend All participants in tonight's